Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Code and Create. Today we're going to show you 10 VS Code extensions that you might not have heard of before, but are extremely useful and practical for web development, especially for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos, and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Ok, let's dive right in. First on our list is Polar Code. So what exactly is Polar Code? It takes your code and turns it into stunning, polished images that you can easily share, whether you're showing your latest project, writing a tutorial, or just want to share a cool snippet with your followers, Polar Code makes your code look professional and clean. First, you need to install the Polar Code extension from the VS Code Marketplace. Once you've got it installed, using it is super simple. Just open your command palette by pressing Ctrl Shift P on Windows or Command Shift P on Mac. Then type Polar Code and select Polar Code Open. This will open a Polar Code window right next to your code editor. Next, copy the code you want to capture, then switch to the Polar Code window and paste your code in there. Now here comes the fun part. You will see your code beautifully rendered in the Polar Code window. To capture this as an image, just click the camera icon. Polar Code will instantly create a screenshot of your code. You can then save this image to your computer and share it wherever you like. Next up is CSS Peak. If you work with HTML and CSS, you're going to love this one. It makes navigating your HTML and CSS files super easy. So what is CSS Peak? CSS Peak allows you to quickly jump to the CSS definitions of your classes and IDs directly from your HTML file. Imagine working on an HTML file and needing to find the styles applied to a particular class. Instead of manually searching through your CSS files, CSS Peak lets you navigate to the exact definition with just a click. Now let's see how to use CSS Peak. Once you've got it installed, it's ready to use right away. Open any HTML file in your project. When you see a class or ID that you want to investigate, simply click the attribute and then press F12 key. VS Code will take you straight to the corresponding CSS definition. This works whether the CSS is in the same file, an external style sheet or even in a linked CSS framework. You can easily jump back and forth between your HTML and CSS files, making it incredibly convenient to understand how styles are applied and make adjustments as needed. CSS Peak is especially useful when working on large projects with extensive style sheets. It eliminates the need to manually search for style definitions, reducing interruptions and allowing you to focus on your coding. Plus, it is perfect for those moments when you are working with unfamiliar code and need to quickly get up to speed with the existing styles. Next up is Color Highlight. This extension visually highlights CSS colors right in your code editor. No more second-guessing hex codes or RGB values. Color Highlight shows you exactly what color you are working with, making design adjustments quicker and more intuitive. To use Color Highlight, first install the extension from the VS Code Marketplace. Once installed, you don't need to do anything special. Just start typing color values in your CSS, HTML or JavaScript files and Color Highlight will automatically highlight these colors in the editor. As you type, you will see the colors instantly visualized right within your code. It supports a variety of color formats including hex, RGB and named colors. This makes it super easy to see the exact colors you are working with and make any necessary adjustments on the fly. Next we have Thunder Client. Thunder Client brings powerful API testing capabilities directly into VS Code. No need to switch between your editor and external tools. You can test and debug your APIs with an intuitive, lightweight client that keeps your workflow smooth and uninterrupted. To use Thunder Client, first install the extension. After installation, you can access Thunder Client from the sidebar. Click on the Thunder Client icon to open it. From here, you can create new requests by entering the API endpoint, selecting the HTTP method, 
and adding any necessary headers or body data. Click the Send button to execute the request and view the response directly within VS Code. Thunder Client simplifies the process of testing APIs, making it easier and more efficient to ensure your endpoints are working correctly. It is a powerful tool that integrates seamlessly into your development environment. Next, let's talk about Turbo Console Log. Turbo Console Log is a game changer for debugging. It automates the tedious process of adding console.log statements throughout your code. With just a keystroke, you can insert descriptive log statements that help you track down issues faster. Let's see how to use Turbo Console Log. After installation, using it is straightforward. When you want to add a console.log statement, simply use the shortcut Ctrl Alt L on Windows or Command Option L on Mac. This will automatically insert a console.log statement at the current cursor position, including a descriptive message with a variable name or expression you're logging. It saves you from typing out log statements manually, making the debugging process much more efficient. You can customize the message template to fit your preferences by going to the settings and modifying the message prefix. This allows you to create more meaningful and contextual log statements tailored to your needs. Next up is code time. Code time is like having a personal productivity coach. It provides insights into how you spend your coding time, helping you identify patterns and improve your efficiency. With detailed metrics and reports, you can optimize your workflow and achieve better work-life balance. First, install the code time extension. Once you've got it installed, you will need to sign in with your preferred account. Once signed in, code time will start tracking your coding activity automatically. You can view detailed reports on the code time dashboard, showing you how much time you've spent coding, what projects you worked on, and when you're most productive. This helps you set and achieve productivity goals, making data-driven decisions to improve your coding practices. Now let's talk about Code Spell Checker. Code Spell Checker catches spelling errors in your code, comments and strings, ensuring your code is not only functional but also professional. It is a small addition that makes a big difference in maintaining code quality. Let's see how to use Code Spell Checker. Once you install it, it will automatically start highlighting misspelled words in your code you can hover over the highlighted words to see suggestions and choose the correct version. Code Spell Checker supports multiple languages and custom dictionaries, making it flexible and adaptable to your needs. It ensures your code is polished and professional, enhancing readability and maintainability. Next we have HTML Boilerplate. HTML boilerplate saves you time by generating a standard HTML5 boilerplate with a single command. This extension ensures that you always start your projects with a clean, consistent structure, setting the foundation for a well-organized code base. Once you've got the extension installed, you can use it anytime you need to create a new HTML document. Just type HTML and then select HTML5 boilerplate. This will instantly insert a complete HTML5 boilerplate into your file. It includes all the basic elements you need to get started, like the doc type, head, meta tags, and a linked stylesheet. HTML boilerplate helps you get straight to coding and improving productivity. It eliminates repetitive setup tasks, ensuring you start every project on the right foot with a clean and consistent structure. Next up is Better Commons. Better Commons enhances your coding comments by categorizing them into different types such as alerts, queries, to-dos and highlights. This makes your comments more meaningful and visually distinct, improving communication within your code base. First, install the Better Commons extension. Once it is installed, you can start using it right away. When you want to create a styled comment, use specific characters like an exclamation mark for alerts, question marks for queries, to-do for tasks, and asterisk for highlights. 
As you type these comments, you'll see them styled differently in your code editor, making it easy to distinguish between different types of comments at a glance. This improves the readability and organization of your comments, making it easier to convey different types of information. Finally, we have Peacock. Peacock adds a splash of color to your VS Code workspace, making it easier to distinguish between different projects and environments. Customize your workspace colors to visually separate development stages or project types, reducing the risk of context switching errors. In order to use Peacock extension, first you need to install it. Once installed, open the command palette by pressing Ctrl Shift P on Windows or Command Shift P on Mac. Type Peacock and select a color option from the list. Peacock will change the color of your workspace, making it visually distinct. This is particularly useful if you work on multiple projects or environments simultaneously, as it helps you maintain clarity and focus. If you want to use custom colors, you can easily do that by configuring the settings. Go to Settings, then open JSON file, find Peacock colors and add your custom colors to this list by specifying the color codes. This way you can quickly switch to your preferred colors using the common palette. Alright, that's it for today. We covered some fantastic VS Code extensions that you might not have known about but can greatly enhance your web development workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new content. Also, let us know in the comments which extension you found most useful or if you have any other hidden gems you'd like to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.